guys, welcome back to another episode. In the last one, we ventured deep into Pakistan's mountains and experienced the Kalash culture. In this episode, we drive our first stretch of the incredible Karakoram Highway, finishing this episode off at Malta Valley. spent the last couple of days catching up on our to-do list in Islamabad and Sana, just because he's just such a great guy and just an all-round legend, he's set up this spot for overlanders to come and camp. It's not 100% finished yet but he like done a massive job whilst we were raining Kalash getting the inside done so we had a bathroom and they put some grass down so this is just going to be apparently all like a big creeper uh, vine on the, the outside wall and it's just going to look awesome when it's done. Um, but yeah, it's just been awesome having a, uh, a safe spot that we could leave the car and just get some stuff done whilst we're here. Uh, yeah, so anyway, today we are heading out. We are going to Besham, which is about seven hours, um, sort of like northwest. So that's going to be our starting point for the Karakoram Highway. Um, and yeah, so the next few days or the next week's going to be pretty epic, I think. The views up north just look incredible. One of the jobs that I got to do here was replace this, which is the strut, this strut for the roof. Um, and you can see by this one, it wasn't really doing much anymore. <laughs> Thankfully, we carried a couple of spares. We had one fail in Indonesia. Indonesia and um, the guys from Australia express posted some over to us, so we have so we've used both of them now to hopefully have problems before the end of the trip. We do carry a bit of weight on the roof, so before we left Australia, we did have these upgraded to take the additional weight. Um, but I just think over time and maybe the conditions we've been in, they've just uh, started to fade a bit. So thankfully, we've had these ones, so we don't have any. Um, any surprises in the middle of the night? And it was an easy replacement. Easy replacement, so it's only just um, undoing the top and the bottom, putting the, um, the strap on and tightening it and just knocking it off. So it takes about five minutes, which is good. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah. Just like that. Fresh naan, and we just got some fruit. And Vicky. Um, when we arrived in Bisham, we were told that um, it was uh, recommended or that we had to sort of stay in a hotel parking area for the night just for security reasons. And today, our drive from um, here, Bisham, to Chilas, which is about 180 kilometres, we have to have a, a police escort. So that's complimentary from the government just for our own safety and it's kind of contrary to the experience that you have in China or Myanmar where you have to pay you know like hundreds of US dollars per day to have these sort of services um, but so far we haven't felt the need to have any police escorts it's um, I suppose just a precautionary measure and it's nice of the government that they're doing that for foreigners um, so yeah that's what we're doing I just wanted to point it out because it does happen when you're in Pakistan but yeah, so far we, we feel really safe, we haven't felt a threat at all, um, but yeah, so we're just about to pack the car down and hit the road. I think it's going to be a long drive today because there's apparently lots of police checkpoints that you have to stop at, which should be done. So we've driven about 50 kilometres so far and we haven't had an escort yet. We did go to a police, uh, like the tourist check-in point and 
because we're driving in a convoy and we said that we didn't we'd prefer not to have one so they said that that's fine but we've seen a couple of them just sitting on the road and I don't know if they're just checking on us don't know but the road is I'm sure they know we're here yeah I'm sure that they know that we're here but yeah this road is absolutely incredible this is the most beautiful road I've ever ever been on look at that just look at it So to get to the other side, they sit in here. It takes like two people and baggage. Go have a look at the edge. This is Umar. <laughs> so we met him at a, some roadworks not, not that far ago. And Hello. Yeah. <laughs> Very friendly. We, we are new friends here and uh, I'm from Pakistan uh, and I'm an exporter of textile goods all around the world. I'm exporting textile goods and they are my friends. If you need anything in Pakistan, you are warmly welcome anytime. Thank you. Thank, right? you. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> We're not really sure what happened to the escort. We're told that we had to wait for like five minutes, but it was probably about 15 minutes for this escort, and then they just told us to drive off and there's no escort. But sometimes they just like meet you on the road. Yeah. Um, parts. So we've probably Maybe been. That might happen. Yeah, so we've been driving for a couple of kilometers now, and so far no sign, but yeah, we've still got 20 something k's to go until Chilas. But anyway, back to how beautiful this drive is. We just had a bit of a uh, nothing camp spot last night just on the side of the road so we just sort of kept driving past Chilas and then um, yeah so we just camped here nothing, <laughs> nothing too exciting um, but today we are driving um, about 110 k's past from here and then we're going past Gilgit to we're going to explore Nolta Valley so hopefully we can find some pretty awesome campsites up there um, that we can maybe spend a night or two um, but yeah I'm actually really surprised so at the moment we're only at like 1200 meters and I honestly thought that we'd be higher by now and it's really not cold at all like it's still really warm um, but yeah so I think I'm expecting it to to go up in elevation a fair bit today um, the closer that we get to Hunza. Uh, so yeah, I'm excited for today. It's going to be awesome. Bye! Thank you! We've got our first checkpoint for today. It's only about 5 kilometers from where we stopped. This is the entry into the next area and I think from... There's maybe one more after this and then it's kind of a bit more fluid. Which will be good. Yes. Um, yes. We usually carry, I don't know if you mentioned it before, no. we usually carry copies of our, photocopies of our passport, visa, a registration, and a mobile number, which we can just hand over to them here. We've actually run out because we went through so many yesterday, so they've just taken our passports and filled the information out. So hopefully we can get all that filled out and returned and be on our way as soon as possible. Just five minutes. Yeah, just five minutes. <laughs> 
minutes. <laughs> when I say five minutes, it usually means half an hour. <laughs> Nolta Valley and we're staying at the ski resort which is just down here. I never thought that there'd be a ski resort in Pakistan apparently like pre 9-11 tourism here was just huge but yeah afterwards it, yeah, it suffered a lot um, so it's slowly getting back up there again but yeah this place is just beautiful. Um, it's a beautiful mountain range behind there's been a couple of avalanches since we arrived it's been pretty cool to watch. Um, yeah the track up here was pretty adventurous it was probably the most adventurous full drive track which we've been on for a while um, there's a few pretty loose rocky sections um, but yeah the snow in springtime can be pretty sloppy and I am not wearing the right footwear anyway <laughs> yeah, Australia, Australia. <laughs> uh, so yeah we're just having some tea we're gonna have some dinner soon set up tonight it's gonna be pretty cold I think I did actually change my boots. <laughs> I'm not walking around in my thongs, slippers, flip flops, whatever you like to call them. <laughs> a bit more appropriate. Yeah, a little bit more appropriate. Oh, my feet were so muddy before, it was disgusting. And cold. And cold. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is deep. <laughs> That's touching my knee. <laughs> It's such a novelty for us. 
being in the snow because uh, there's never ever any snow where we live in Australia. <laughs> <laughs> told me three months ago that I'd be standing on a ski resort in northern Pakistan. I wouldn't believe you. Pleasantly surprised. We've got two lifts here. There's a T-bar here. Where? Which is oh, yeah. just here. Which is kind of what we're standing in. And there's a twin chair here which goes up a bit higher. But I think it was only like six weeks ago they had an international ski fest. So this was they had a slalom, giant slalom down here. Yeah, it would be, um, apart from the road in, this would be a magic place to come in in winter. Yeah. Mm. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful setting. B E A beautiful. That's it for this episode. Join us in the next one where we complete our journey up the valley and finish the amazing Karakoram Highway. Until then, thanks for watching. See ya.